So time for another of my favourite plants and this one, this is Trapelum tuberosum which is uh, often known as Mashua. It's a South American tuber, originally from South America. Uh, it, it's not fully hardy in Britain but we live in Cornwall and I've taken some of the tubers out to store them over winter and then I went to put them back and they were sprouting <laughs> from the bed. So this, this bed in particular anyway, they're quite happy to overwinter. Maybe if we had a harsh winter, it wouldn't be so good. As you can see, they're pretty vigorous. They might look familiar in terms of the leaves. Uh, they're, yes, they're related to the plant we normally call nasturtium, which is definitely not frost hardy. If you get a frost, it will always kill that plant. Um, and this will die back, but it makes tubers under the ground. And it's the tubers are the main edible crop. You can also eat the leaves like you can do with a normal nasturtium plant. And uh, also the flowers, although it tends to flower much later, normal nasturtiums flower quite quickly, whereas this takes quite a long time. And the flowers are small, they can be quite profuse, beautiful, again, yellowy red, very nice. Um, the other thing about this plant which is interesting and useful is that it's also very attractive to the cabbage whites, the large and the small cabbage white butterflies. This has been here for a few years now and it remains here because it just grows back. Um, but this year we've got brassicas in a bed just here and the cabbage whites have been coming by. Oh, here's one behind me I can see. And They've shown, obviously shown the usual interest in these brassicas, but then they've tended to go over here. So in companion planting terms, we might call that a decoy plant. Now, I always have a bit of a question mark about decoys because we're, we're kind of feeding the things that will then want to eat the other things. So what happens when this is gone? But uh, for now, uh, this seems to do very well. In fact, there are eggs. There we are, some eggs, telltale large white caterpillar eggs, the yellow ones on there. Um, and yes, it has the same peppery flavour um, as you might expect. Mashua is, uh, yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting flavour as a tuber. Um, I like it. I would imagine not everybody might. So like a lot of plants, <laughs> try it and eat it and make sure you enjoy it before you buy it. Because I've made that mistake before with another plant, which is still in the corner because it's quite a big, vigorous plant. Um, but yes, I would definitely give thumbs up to this. It wants to climb up something, obviously. Here suits it very well. There's a very big, vigorous uh, rosemary bush here that it just finds its way into and off it goes. Um, and it's also sharing the space with the grapevine. Um, but yes, it stands, it can stand up for itself. Uh, in a cooler part of Britain, you might need to take the tubers in, store them over winter and then plant them out again uh, in the spring. But I would give this a big thumbs up. Um, on the count of it's very edible, it's also a good decoy for your brassicas and it's also very beautiful.